This is our tomato farm. This is the the third batch here. This is the third batch. Sorry. And the, the variety name of this very one. Please, we can even enter. We can even enter so that everyone should see. Yeah. Come closer so that you can see all the things I, I want to explain. It's good to come closer. It's good to come closer. Sorry. It's part of the sign that you are in the farm. Yeah, it's good. Don't you think so? Yeah, it's good. Because if you don't experience that, you wouldn't know that you are in the farm. Yes, and that is the joy of being in the farm. Okay. Yeah. So, here we are in our tomato farm. This very variety is called cobra, but not that snake. But it may spell the same, but it's not really that one. Okay, this is Cobra F1, and it's from Technism Company. This tomato, as I explained the other time, that uh, it takes between 21 and 28 days at the nursery. So it went through the nursery before we transplanted it. And this is four weeks from transplanting. After the first 21 days, we transplanted it as from the uh, from the nose. We will go get to that level, but we want to start from here. So we transplanted it down here, and this is four weeks from the time we transplanted it. So you can see it now is at the flowering stage. That is different between fruiting stage and flowering stage. So the the fruit, though some of them are like trying to bring up some little you know fruit mm. but majorly we want to look at you know like by percentage we know that is a uh, let's say 95 percent you know flower uh, the flowering state not fruiting stage so you can now see the the flowers so this is what we call cluster as it comes out like this so each of the cluster like this can produce as many as for instance you want to count it this one this two this three this four this five six seven this seven then this one one two three four five six so like in a cluster like this so seven plus sometimes abortion take place you remember i mentioned something yes. of that mm -hmm. there's abortion take place and also explain some of those things that can actually you know lead to the issue of the abortion yes so here let's use this stand for instance to explain i told you that there are so many things we actually allow in the farm so that we can use to explain I, you can still remember that. Yes. Okay. So now, as you see it, at this level now, when we talk about like pruning, these are the side shoots. Can we all see? Yes. This is the side shoot. This is the side shoot. This, all these ones are side shoots. Yes. Now, those ones below from this level, the right thing should be we should prune them. So by pruning is what you do. These are things you do. But sometimes we may look at that the flowers are already here. Don't we yes. think so? Yes. Yeah, remember when I said that a farmer is not a stingy person? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you are stingy, it's difficult for you to do this. Yes. So you just remove them. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do this, the strength that this one should have taken from here would be channeled to this one. Yes. So the fruit size will be very healthy. Mm -hmm. So forget about the number of fruits it's going to produce. Mm -hmm. But we are looking at the quality, not quantity. Are we together? Yeah. Are wonderful. It will attract the market. But when the quality of the fruit are not good, it won't attract the market. So you just do this. Then two, you also prune the leaf. You also prune the leaf. But the right thing should be you using like scissors or sharp knife. By this, you are given that tomato ventilation mm -hmm. do you get my point yes. there will be enough ventilation and you don't drop them like this you pack them off the farm mm. you don't drop them so you pack them off the farm so this is like a one of the issues we are talking about and we also that is on the area of the pruning then i also mentioned the issue of uh, taking so those of you that asked some questions yesterday where, where is mommy 
Yeah. Okay, mommy, that's good. Thank God that you are here. Please, can we just give the space for, for mom to come what in a, a little to also look at some of these things? Play the right. video of the staking yesterday for us to see on the projector. But let's just look at it in the reality here also. Now you can see, let me just dismantle it. You can see what we have done here. So when we talk about the staking, you now look at some of the material, the bamboo. This should be about um, six feet high. Then like one foot is under. So making it, let's say seven feet. So one foot will be under, then six feet will be up. Then this is what we call galvanized string. It doesn't rust. Most of the ones in this farm, they're up to three years. But they still remain like this. So I can see using the next five years if Christ starring to come. You can see using the next five years. Unlike the normal binding wire in the market that can't even last for one year, it will rust. And can you imagine that you are using like a line of it like this? So along the line, you know, the thing is, you know, rusted and it's cut. So by implication, you are missing a whole line. Because when it is cut, it is actually very difficult for you to actually get it on again. You get my point. So the right thing should be what we are doing, the way you use the right thing. So you just get a, this rope, which is still common in the market. You get it, so you, you cut it. Maybe if time permits, I will show you how to cut it, but it's simple mm -hmm. how to cut it. So you look for a small stick like this. Sometimes, most people make this mistake. Let me do something. If you tie it here, mm -hmm. do you know the effect? No. 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 When you tie it direct to the stem, it's tight. Yes. Now, I have told her that this tomato is just four, four weeks. Yes. Definitely, the stem will be bigger than this. Yes. Because you keep applying manure. Mm. Now, when the, stems, the stem is bigger than this, this place will be locked up. Yes. So, the, the nutrient will not come up again. So, it affects the further growth and production. Are we together? Yes. So the best thing is not to tie it here, but to use a stick like this. So you tie it to the stick, just like we did. I hope all of us, we are seeing it. Yes. So you tie it like this, then you put it, you give a space from the stem, you put it like this, then you control it. You control it by yourself. And sometimes, if the, the branches, because from here, any branch that comes up, you don't prune again. Because if you prune like this one, if you remove this side shoot now, you are destroying the potential fruit. Are we together? Yes. So you are destroying the potential fruit. But from this place downward, you prune those ones. So you just control it. If this one keep growing, you can attach another rope like this to control this one. Because when the fruit start coming up, when we get to the side that, yes, will be heavy. When we get to the side that there are bigger fruit, you'll notice what I'm, I'm talking about. So you use another support rope. So that is how this stage is being done. I hope you are very comfortable. Yes. Is there any question here before we move to another thing? You are free to ask much, as much as question you can ask at this stage. Excuse me. Okay, mom. Like, I have noticed a, a stand here. Okay. The, there's a little branch below. Okay. The V. Okay. Which means that this other one will be blown out. Yes. Like I said, most of the things we didn't want to do in this okay. farm. Because had it been that we did all these things, I would be talking, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. So that was why we actually allow some things to be. That's for because of today. So if you come back like next week, most of those things will be done. So we will take time to prune some of those things. Like when we get to other side, maybe we have worked on, you also notice some of those things. Like I was talking about the issue of uh, uh, fruiting abortion or flowering abortion, just for these things to fall out. And I mentioned some factors that can lead to that. One of the things I mentioned that can lead to the fruit or the flowers abortion is lack of casium. And I mentioned some sources of casium that we can source within ourselves without getting, you know, the other one. So we can source it. Yes. Bone meal, there are many of them. You can source for those things. Even the ash. Yes, the wood ash. 
is also part of it. That one con contains both cashew and what? Wood ash. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Before, just yesterday, now. Okay. okay, okay, don't easily forget. Okay, I like what some of you are doing, even with your phone, because that one is read uh, recorded, you won't forget. Now, in the case of uh, this wire, supposing I use improvide, fine, any other thing you can use improvide, like stick, you can use something that can act like this. Yes, it's okay, so it's not a must that you should use the wire, yeah. So that is the issue. So this is how the whole thing looked like. So we decided to grow this our into a tomato in sack. That is in bags, as you can see. Okay. So is there any other questions? You apply something like uh -huh. This manure, the second manure. Like I, I told us that we eat on daily basis, is it not? Even two, three times in a day. But most times we punish our, our, our plants. We mix manure with the soil before planting it. Now it's one month. That was the reason we reapply the second manure as you have seen. The second manure. And that's why you see the farm very greenish. Don't you like it? So we, we didn't just plant it. It's not because it's a pastor's farm. That is why it's doing like this. We have done the right thing. And God respects principle. So when you do the right thing, God will just add his own and everything will work out well. So you don't just come and plan and go home and start praying, God, flourish my farm, flourish my farm. So it doesn't work that way. The prayer will work by principle, is it not? So you do the right thing. And when you do the right thing, it will work out very fine. It's okay. So I think it, you are using a organic manure. Okay. Because yesterday you were talking about how to apply the inorganic manure. Okay. So how, what is the spacing? What is your the method of applying your application of manure? Okay, if inorganic. the method of applying this uh, the, inorganic. the inorganic. Okay, I will also show us when we get to another side how to apply it. We we actually brought in those things here. So everything today is going to be practical. To show us how to do it. Okay, thank you. Please, what did you say is the name of this particular? Okay, let me Cobra. Cobra. Cobra F1. Cobra F1. Cobra F1. Let's step out.